More bad news for Juventus, Napoli and other Italian clubs, Gab. The uh, sporting trial over inflated transfer values is underway. We mentioned it many times on the shows before. And the prosecution wants a one-year ban for club president Andrea Agnelli and 16 months for former sporting director Fabio Paratici, who is now a Spurs, Aurelio De Laurentiis also, mm. I think, for a 12-month ban or something like that. What's going to happen? Okay, so... Without making this too complicated, of course, we talked this about, about this before. Because of amortization, you can do this trick where you where you swap one player for another player. You can almost put whatever value you want on him, yeah. and then suddenly you've generated instant income on your balance sheet, although it's just paper money, no money changes hands. And that in turn means that you don't have to either load debt onto the club or, um, or do a capital injection, do a capital raise, yeah. right? Um Juventus are being investigated on this along with other clubs, including Napoli, as you said. Uh, there's two parallel investigations. There is some overlap. So this is purely from a sporting justice uh, perspective. There's a criminal trial as well, which then goes into false accounting and whatnot, which concerns Juve um, and other clubs too. Um, there are two, two separate strands. There is some overlap, not complete overlap. As far as the bans are concerned... Completely irrelevant. I know, even if they're found guilty. Yeah. How do you it's ban? It's, it's not like Andreanelli plays. What are you banning him from? He has are to you stay at home. No, I think. <laughs> I think into the no, no, it's stupid stuff. Like he's not allowed to go in the dressing room. Like I, I mean, it's completely stupid. Yeah. We've seen with these bans before. They don't really work. Um, Juventus are going to argue that I'm sorry. There's no objective measure of how much we should be paying for a player, right? You can't yeah. tell us. And one of the reasons I think they're going to get away with it in this trial is from what I can tell from what's been reported, the prosecution's arguments are pretty stupid. They have like five benchmarks to determine the correct value of a player. And it's based on age. Yeah, it's based, markets. Mm. Yeah, no, they haven't got a transfer <laughs> mark yet, but it's, it's based on age. It's based on appearances and so on. And that's not how you do it. There could be a guy who's a phenomenal talent, but maybe he needs to lose weight to get yeah. really good or somebody else who maybe has been injured or, you know, these are all fair. I think Juventus are going to make this argument in a strong case. The false accounting trial, which is more serious, that's a criminal trial. Obviously, that's all TBD. Yeah. Inter's game in hand, Gab, against Bologna has been rescheduled for April 27th. Why did it take so long? Well, what's my answer to everything bad that happens in the history of the world? Uh, lawyers! Tape and Lawyers! Lawyers! Um, so this game was, was, I think it was back in January. Yeah. Um, Bologna had a uh, COVID outbreak. Um, and so the game was postponed. Now, Inter, Inter had actually traveled to Bologna, did that thing where they walk onto the pitch. So they say, oh, look, yeah, you're not here. Like, hey. Forfeit the game. Inter should have just left and say, let's just replay it. But no, lawyers, oh, look, Inter, look, why don't you file a billion appeals? Because maybe you'll get some idiot court to go and say, oh, yeah, no, you deserve... Um, you know, you deserve the automatic three points without playing the game. I don't think this is a good look. I don't think yeah. Inter should have listened to these lawyers. Um, like at the time, they're going to say, well, but we had the Coppa Italia. We're still the Champions League at the time. That's why we did these endless appeals. No, this is stupid. Play the game. Play the game. Yeah. Decide things on the pitch. I'm happy that they have to play this. If they win it, it's absolutely huge for them because yeah. they go top of Serie A. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.